Hello, people of this universe. Hi, my name is Catherine, and today I'm going to be talking about thoughts that go through my head daily. So in this video, I will talk, be talking about th th kind of three types of different ta thoughts. One is the psychopathic thoughts. The second one will be the pep talk thoughts. And the third one will be the don't be awkward thought. So first I'll ta let's talk about the psychopathic thoughts. Now these thoughts are the thoughts that go through your head that are just like crazy. Like you'll be standing in the hallway and you know it's between your passing period and maybe at your locker or just sitting in the hallway and you just sit there and you go across the hall and you see the fire ex pulley thing and you think to yourself, I could pull that fire alarm right now and get expelled. And then I could stay home all day and watch YouTube videos and discover the unicorn. And then it's all of a sudden this best idea. And then it's so tempting because you just want to know what it feels like to pull it down. And it's so exciting. But then you don't do it because you're a good person. I don't know the other word. Civilian. I. <sighs> These psychopathic thoughts can also be thoughts like, I could kill everyone in this room right now. Would I feel guilty about killing my classmates? Could I even get away with killing my classmates? Well, I could bury them under the gym. Catherine, what are you- No, Catherine, stop. And then you just end up scaring yourself, like, why am I thinking about killing all my classmates? Alright, so then comes the pep talk thoughts. These always come before a test in band, because I always get nervous for those tests. I don't get nervous for like, any other tests except for band tests. And then speaking in front of classes. And for band tests, it's normally an old pep talk. I'm like, all right, Catherine, you can do this. You are a goodish saxophone player. You studied for this test. You memorized the scales you need to do. You will be awesome. And I'm talking to myself in the hallway during this. And then the teacher opens the door. Another classmate goes out. And he's like, all right, come on. And so I walk in the room, and all of a sudden, this happens. Catherine, what were you thinking? You were not ready for this test. What did you do all week? I know it's done. You're failing. It's done. But for speaking in front of classes, I like to talk to myself like this. Catherine, you are going to be so good at this, and you're going to take them by surprise and dominate the world and get an A-plus on this project. And then I go up in front of the class, and... I end up doing this. I am not prepared for this. I didn't even read the material and everyone's gonna know. Um, yeah. So then there's the don't be awkward thoughts. Now, this last Friday, something happened to me that I've been scared that would happen to me for a long time. And it's about time this happened. This Friday, I'm sitting in class, and the girl next to me does this. And I was like, is she sneezing? And then she starts doing this. <laughs> the girl next to me started bawling. And I'm not friends with this girl, so I'm sitting through class like this. What is happening? Is she, is she crying? Oh, what am I supposed to do? Okay, okay, maybe if I just don't look at her, if she's still... Oh, she just saw me look at her. She knows I know she's crying. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I say she's okay? I think it must be awkward. Oh my gosh. Maybe, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What if other people notice? Maybe she'll think I'm rude. Uh, maybe if I act like I'm doing something, she won't think I'm as rude. I'll play the patty cake or something. And it was just so awkward because I was like, I wanted to talk to her, but I was scared because I'd make things awkward. Alright, so that was this video. I hope you liked it. And tell me if you have any of these thoughts because maybe I would feel less weird if somebody else experienced this with me. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye!